All right, coming to you live from Dev Week Cloud here. I'm here with Jim Hatcher. Jim, how are you doing? Doing, doing great. So you are here with CockroachDB. What the heck is CockroachDB? That's a great question. You know, we're, we're a distributed SQL platform, which is kind of the best of both worlds between a traditional relational database like Oracle and a NoSQL database like Cassandra. Um, we, we, you know, apps interact with us like a SQL database. We do joins and foreign keys and all those things you expect your, your SQL database to do, but under the covers, we're a key value store, so that, that makes it really easy for us to um, partition data, replicate data, um, move data around on the cluster, and so Cockroach Cluster is made up of many nodes. It has that kind of scale-out ability of a Cassandra or, or Mongo, but it also has the things we love about relational database, um, you know, the consistency and asset transactions that, that we love about working with, with relational. So. so who would be the type of people or what are the use cases for something like uh, Cockroach? Yeah, it's a great, uh, great product for developers and architects. I think uh, as a developer, it's great because you, know, you, you can let the database handle you know, concurrency issues, isolation. You know, consistency issues. You know, you don't, you don't have to deal with that up in your code. Uh, kind of let that work. So, in. but as far as industry, would these be banks? Would they be retail? Would sure. they be all this? Yeah, I mean, I think the the, the key thing is we, we we're good for system of record uh, workloads. So, if you're a bank and you're keeping up with bank balances, or you're retail and you're keeping up with inventory, or uh, an IM, you know, access management system where you're tracking people's passwords and what systems they have access to. Anything where you need to, a, a strong, consistent view of the data across your database, and eventual consistency is not an option. Uh, you, know, you, you need a strong, available, highly resilient database to have the right piece of information. Those, those are the things we're, we're good at. So as far as origin story, where did this come from? And uh, was it somebody's PhD thesis? Was it uh, somebody who had a problem at another company that wasn't solved? Um, and is this open source? Yeah. So we have three founders. Um, they're all ex-Google engineers. They were early Google engineers and worked on Gmail and a lot of the you know, uh, Google products that we use today. And I think they were inspired by Google Cloud Spanner, which is you know, this relation, uh, distributed database. And so they, they had the idea to build a you know, similar product. And so uh, seven and a half years ago, they started Cockroach. Um, and, and did like three three years of R and D, you know, just just working on the engineering of it, um, uh, and and so uh, the the name Cockroach, the idea is because it's a distributed database, it runs on many nodes, so you, know, you, you can kill one of the nodes, one of those nodes might die, but you can't kill the colony, you know, where the, the cockroaches are going to live. So you're, you know, it's, a, it's a database that you can't kill. It's a really highly highly available and strongly consistent database, which is. That's kind of our message. So if you come into the data center and you flip on the light, they all go all over the place? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, and then speaking of data centers, would this run on private cloud, public cloud, all these? We, we do have a, a, a SaaS offering uh, called Cockroach TV Dedicated that, that you can spin up in AWS or GCP. Uh, but we also have a self-hosted option, uh, which you can run on-prem, or you can run that you know, on IaaS resources like EC2 and you know, in the cloud. Um, or you can run a hybrid. You can, you can say I've got a cockroach cluster and it, it's got nodes that are uh, on-prem and it's, you, you could have a piece in a private cloud and a piece in public cloud. And as long as those nodes can talk to each other, that's, that's one connected uh, cockroach cluster. So it's really, that self-hosted option is very flexible. You can do a lot of neat things with it. Cool. And so just to end with, if you wanted to kick the tires on this, check it out, get your, uh, get your feet wet, what would you, what would you uh, advise folks to do? Yeah. Well, recently we released a, a serverless offering, and there's a free tier in serverless. Um, so you can go to cockroachlabs.cloud and sign up. No? Dot com? Oh. Well, I think you can, okay, cockroachlabs.com uh, uh, and sign up for the uh, serverless offering. You can, you can have a, a free account on serverless, uh, store up to five gigs of data for free. Uh, and it's, you know, you click, click, click to the website. You have something spun up in minutes, and you can start playing with it. So it's a, it's a good way to get started. Awesome. Jim Hatcher, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks.